Coach Romano, do you believe the win played a factor in this game? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's it's a it's a field. Surf club's right next to the ocean. You know, the breeze is coming right off the ocean, going across the field, not really going end to end or anything like that. So no, I don't think that the wind played any part really in the game. Final question, Coach. Um, what made the difference between this past time we played hand and this time when you played hand? I mean, it's always it's always hard to beat a team three times. Uh, they already beat us, you know, twice before. We knew this was going to be a different game, different atmosphere. Uh, both teams were going to be up, get up to play. You know, it's going to be a fast-paced game. A lot of uh, I mean, we missed an opportunity. They had a bunch of opportunities that they missed, and we went to overtime, and unfortunately it was, you know, sudden death, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time, Coach. Thank you. This is James Canavan reporting live from Strong Field, QNN News, where the Dragons have been eliminated from the SCC tournament but still look to strike in the States. Sayafi Al Hazan is a positive example of what young people can be inspired to be like. James Cannon, Q30 News. Coach Hunter, what were the keys to today's game? Well, I thought uh, it was a difficult game for us. Their team came in and uh, put us under a lot of pressure throughout the whole game. I thought at some point in time we would have been able to get a little more consistency and the game under control, but uh, unfortunately under the conditions we didn't. That being said, uh, we ended up getting a few chances and in effect finished them, uh, which was always a good thing to do. These games are always difficult in the States. Uh, the other teams basically uh, come in, nothing to lose, so it was a good win with more. James? Between Sunday evening and Monday morning, the region experienced a snowstorm. Many school districts were canceled and Quinnipiac University instituted a delay until noon. While there was some dissatisfaction, most of the people I questioned stated how happy they were to have a day off due to snow. What's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, how do you like the snowy hill over on my right? Oh, we love it. We came. Hello, sir. Your name? I'm Paul Tenney. Paul, what did you think of the storm? I actually enjoyed it because we haven't had snow uh, for the, pretty much the whole winter. Okay, thank you. What is your name? Hi, my name is Gene. What did you think of the snowfall? I'm not too happy about it. Shoveling snow isn't as much fun as it used to be. Thank you very much. What's your name? Hi, I'm Deb Hull. And what do you think of the snowstorm? I love the snowstorm because my family all came out and made this seven foot tall snowman for me. Between snow men and women, it looks like most people were pretty content with where the snowstorm left them. Back to you. Long, Owen and recent Kardashian drama along with the winners from the Oscars. Plus, are midterms stressing you out? How can meditation and napping help you relax? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Jordan Good apologizes for betraying Khloe Kardashian after having an affair with Tristan Thompson. With this and all the latest on entertainment, here's James Canavan. Well, Patrick and Elisa, this week has brought us a lot in entertainment. For starters, Jordan Wood and Tristan Thompson had an affair. Jordan had been Khloe Kardashian's best friend before the revelations were made public. Jussie Smollett first accused two other people of attacking him. As police investigated, Jussie backed off his claim, only to say that he was a victim. The television show that he was on, Empire, kept him off the last two tapings of the show. No word as yet as to when he will be reintroduced or even if he'll be brought back. R. Kelly was formally charged with 10 counts of sexual abuse. He turned himself in voluntarily to the police. Prosecutor Kim Fox spoke at length during the press conference. R. Kelly's attorney, meanwhile, bemoaned the current state of affairs when internet buzz could affect a person's guilt or innocence and cause them to spend time in jail. Our Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper an item Rumors were swirling after Lady Gaga allegedly split from her fiancé, Christian Carino. While initially it brought the web buzzing with the news, 
Neither side, Bradley nor Lady Gaga, has confirmed or denied the rumor mill. And finally, the Oscars were held on the 24th. The big winners were Olivia Colman as Best Actress, Green Book as Best Picture, and Rami Malik earned the Oscar for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury of the band Queen. That's your entertainment for this week. Back to you, Patrick and Elisa. This is James Kahneman live from the Yale Tennis Center with a story about the closing of the Connecticut Open. I'm here with Sue. Sue, what are your feelings about the Connecticut Tennis Center closing? I feel really bad about it. Um, I enjoy watching tennis both at both here and on television. When I was in school, middle school and high school, I took lessons, played with some of my friends. We had a really good time. I didn't win a whole lot, but we had a whole lot of fun playing. And then after that, we used to come in here in the summer to watch the matches. Um, I saw Andre Agassi a long time ago, which was really neat seeing somebody so good, so special play right here where I could see him. And I enjoyed coming and watching uh, Carolyn Wozniacki. In the five months since the conclusion of the 2018 tournament, the Tennis Foundation of Connecticut board conducted an extensive analysis of the financial model of the Connecticut Open and deemed it not viable without a title sponsor. Following an exhaustive sponsor search and after careful deliberation, the TFC board has made the decision to sell the premier WTA sanction to APG, a leading sports and entertainment company with a strong footprint in Asia. The tournament will take place in week 37 of the calendar from September 9 through the 15th, 2019 in Zhanghao City, China. This is James Canavan reporting from the Connecticut Open, which has since been closed. Back to you.